Guys, what's up? It's Ryan and Eric here from Tower Reviews, and we also got a new guy here. His name is Randy. And today we're going to be comparing the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4 to compare the A4, which is in the iPhone, and the A5 in the iPad, just so you can get a little idea of the speed difference between the two. So we're going to start it off by powering them down and then powering them back on. So let's do that. Okay. One, two, three. Perfect. All right, so iPad one. A little quicker. And okay, now, now we're going to power, power them back on. Go. All right, nice. so the iPad got a tad bit of a head start. No, it didn't. And what you're looking at here, guys, is basically a iPad, which has the A5 chip, which is a dual-core processor against the single core processor the in the A4 chip which is in the iPhone 4 um, this is clocked at 1 gigahertz supposedly but it's really underclocked to 800 megahertz and you're looking at the A5 which is the dual core 1 gigahertz supposedly so you can see it really started up nice and fast and it's like it's ready to go and we got the 3G, bit of lag, but 3G 16 gigabyte and obviously 3G and the iPhone 4 is not too far behind and it's ready to go for the most part. No lag. Nice okay. Quick. So next we're gonna do the web browsers. Just load a couple sites. All right. So if any of you have seen our videos before, we always like to load Techno Buffalo. Okay. One, two, three, go. Here, I'm gonna. Well, that's a lot faster than it was. Okay. So it looks like the iPhone's winning. When we ran this off camera though, the iPad kicked its ass. I don't know if that's just because we hadn't had it loaded or not, or... It seemed like something was wrong the first time the iPhone loaded it because it was really slow. Yeah, maybe just a glitch. Yeah, so the iPhone's done. And the iPad's still strong. Now it looks like the iPad's having the glitch. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Alright, it's catching up. Okay. And also, you have to realize that they're both sharing the same Wi-Fi network along with whatever else may be on it. So, got to take that into into consideration. So, we're gonna go on youtubecom slash tower reviews. And one, two, three, go. Oh, that was close. All right, the iPad won, but it really was pretty close. It there really wasn't much of a difference, and it is obviously the mobile version of it. Um, but yeah, both are mobile. Still. The iPad was fast. Okay, now we're gonna load some stock apps uh, on the devices, just like iTunes and App Store. See how they each handle. I know they're different like layouts, layouts but yeah. it should give a like a good generalization of the processors in each device. So we're gonna do iTunes first. The browsing ability on the iPad is just superb compared to the iPhones. You can get a lot more done. And now we're going to do, see you can see how it's a completely different layout, but um, the iPhone is just really a lot more for just but also mobile the, uh, use. I, iPhone screen is a lot higher, higher quality, definitely. You can definitely yeah. see from just from looking at it for a second that you can see the pixels. From far away though, the iPad looks great. It really does. But when you're up and you look at the time and it small writing. Looks like the old generation of iPods. Third generation of everything. Yeah. Uh, next we're gonna do camera. One, two, three, go. Boom. iPad was a little faster. Again. But again, you have a much better quality camera on the iPhone than the iPad iPads is very green so in might be worth light situations, uh, but the iPad 3 should have a HD. Although I don't think anyone's uh, a better camera. trying to get one or the one or the other. You're but I mean, probably considering getting both of them. Yeah, but definitely, <laughs> definitely having the iPad for a camera is not a good idea because it's huge. But it, yeah, it's no there. one walks around carrying that. It's there for. <laughs> It's there for if you actually want to uh, FaceTime or anything like that, which is a good feature to have. All right, let's see the App Store, one of the most common apps. Okay. For one, expanding two, three, your three, go. All 
All right, so both pretty quick. Uh, Again, completely completely different applications. But uh, it's really nice on the iPad, of course, with the... Uh, you can see the top 10 of each category in one swipe, while you have to tab through the top free, top grossing, and top paid on the iPhone. So again, just a beautiful layout by Apple on both devices, but it's just easier on the iPad. Um, but most of them, most of the apps, as you can see, it comes down to both processes are lightning fast. Um, there's really no lag in either of them. You're not going to have a problem loading anything with either of the processors. So while Apple has improved with the A5, um, the A4 is still a very viable chip in this market uh, for what you need it to do. Uh, and it's also running less. I've been having problems with my iPhone, so I'm getting it replaced tomorrow. But the home button is getting sticky and not working at all. So, see you later.